I can't believe I was right. Damn, this optimization. Hey guys, welcome back to Dome Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we're about for a brand new benchmark. Let's take out Troublemaker once again for the PC. Today I'm running this on my Intel Core i3-10105 with the Intel UHD 630 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM and dual channel memory and as you can see, this looks incredibly terrible. Well, this was the only way I was able to get the game to give me a playable frame rate. <laughs> so there's that. That's right, so I'm going to show you the settings right now, but know that I'm using a low-end config. So first I went to 50% of 720p. I did have everything dropped to the lowest preset. We are using DirectX 11 as well, because why the heck not? We are using on the lowest preset it could go to, and I went into the config and did my normal thingamajig, where I just made the, drop the resolution even further to like 20% of it. So here we are now at getting about 40 FPS. We're managing to achieve 40, but... In bigger areas, we're going to lose even more frames, so which is why I decided this is probably for the best. And I will have this test, I will have this on every integrated graphics because I can't play it anywhere else. It's, it's too much. Now, we could try to carry up the native, like the scaling here, because I am getting a higher frame rate than expected. Just to make it look, I don't even know if that went through or not. <laughs> debatable let's just carry it to 100 percent and see if it goes through probably didn't go through so we're gonna keep it like this i guess just to show you that it's not actually working anymore because i changed the config of it all but i want to keep it like this simply because the frame rate's gonna get really bad when we get around to the <laughs> school like, it's one thing to play it here, but once we get into the school, it's, it's going to be a disaster. But here, at least here, we're getting 60 to 70 FPS with this with this, these tweaks. Now, I will leave uh, the config file in the description down below. Um, you simply need to change the scale resolution, realistically speaking. It's just going to be that to avoid much issues. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Now this is a very small area in the game. Obviously this is going to be extremely easy to run. There's just this back alley here. But once, but after this we get to the school. So you got to be careful. But this will give you a consistent frame rate. Now probably you're saying to yourself. Why didn't you just go for 30 FPS? If I went for 30 I may have been able to leave everything on. I don't know. You know probably should have. But I like getting as much frame high frame rates as possible. So I do learn can fix. It's kind of the way of my ninja. I'm using 11 gigabytes of RAM as well, like, this is very RAM intensive, so keep that in mind. Very RAM intensive game. But it can run on integrated graphics, so it can run on anything, as long as you know what you're doing. Do a little tweak here and there. You're done, so. You're done, so. Your buddy just watched you die, and now I'm gonna beat him up too. He's about to get the same thing. I love this CPU, dude. Keeping really cool, only 34 watts. Like, this is awesome. Always keeps cool, even though I'm really pushing it. It's really pushing it with the frame rate right now. Still handles itself quite well. So what we're going to do, because we want to see what, what it can do, we're going to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And you see, this is what happens when you decide to use low-end configs. Sometimes things like this will happen. Where it seems that obviously now it's having an issue with the lighting. I'm going to actually turn it off and maybe we'll test again and see what it looks like. But yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to try to get to the... I'm going to try to get to the end of this. I'm going to try to get it again and see if the lighting comes back. Why did I get so loud all of a sudden? Wait, what, bro, what? The lighting didn't come back. In fact, it got worse. 
ikan bud seberapa jauh gol bangsat Jago juga lu ya Kali ini gua gak bakal kalah Maju sini lu Man Art Control! All right, so this is what I was thinking of. Like the second we got around to here, I figured it would come back. The graphics would come back. Maybe don't use the config, or maybe I have to, to tweak some things to remove the lighting issues because without the lighting issues, it kind of just fades out. But it is running here. Okay, so it's back now. You see, this is why I use the config though, because when you get into here, as you can see, the frame rate drops down to in the 40s. So without the config, you're probably going to see you're in your 30s or lower. It may drop below. It's it's really a maybe, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't type thing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. You may need to just use the config where you just simply take off only the the resolution, the secondary resolution scaling. Because otherwise... It's gonna be a nightmare to play. Anyway, that's kind of what the channel does. I test games and show you guys how to run them on the wind hardware. I'll see you guys next time.